Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. It is Friday, January 21st. Hope y'all are doing well, staying healthy. Got a couple friends of mine that are super sick from the Rona. So, gotta stay hydrated, stay healthy. Watch out now. Morning, Felix, Jason, Raul. Been doing a little housekeeping lately. I am paying for my sins of not updating thumbnails and so forth. So, been doing that a bit this week. I think I've got like 20 or so, probably 30 videos to go. <laughs> but hopefully updating thumbnails will help um, descriptions. I'm also adding chapter markers to all the videos I've done. That's going to take a bit longer, but it's a new feature on YouTube. So if you do miss the live stream and you want to watch a particular segment, that will be available to you. So, hey, Jordan. Good morning. Let me open up Discord here. Just had to send a little <clears throat> Discord message. We are kicking off again. I was in a funk, admittedly. I was in a funk, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Sometimes that happens as a creative person. Um, I think, uh, you know, the holiday season and all that. Um, the extended break and then trying to get back into the, the swing of things. Plus, I've got some massive projects I'm working on. Um, kind of wears on you a little bit. So... I'm back, ready to go, and uh, hopefully you are too. But anyhow, bring back the weekly sketch challenge. So this week we are going to be doing birdhouses. So I'm going to do a birdhouse today, and we had a request from Lori, Lori Bert. Sorry, I'm eating my breakfast at the same time. Which happens to be a handful of almonds. That's it. Um, but I had a request to do a totem pole. I'm actually going to message her right now. Let's see. She's been waiting. Waiting for like a week. Anyhow. Um, I'm not sure why... The alerts don't work for some people. Some people they work for, some people they don't. So apologies there. Hey, Latrice, what's up? Introvert duels. Hello, hello. Um, all right. We're going to jump right into it. But I did just post in Discord. This week's challenge will be birdhouses. So I'm going to do one of those. And then I'm going to um, do the totem pole. So that's my plan. All right two things today so sit tight relax buckle up and let's get to it all right okay i got my marker paper here i never did figure out which side was correct oh okay it is this side all right i'm gonna write i'm gonna write back on this back um, it's probably hard for you to tell, but <clears throat> I can tell because of the graininess of the marker versus how smooth it is. So, hey, Derek, what's up? Thanks for joining, man. Long time no see. Hope hope everything's well, staying healthy. I'm one of those rare people so far, knock on wood, knock on cutting mat, um, that hasn't had COVID yet. So hopefully, hopefully y'all are staying safe, healthy. but also living life. Okay, let's see. Apologies for the slow start here. All right. <clears throat> let's go. So what are y'all up to this Friday? You guys working, just hanging out at home? Yeah, we'll have to catch up. 
Um, I wish we could catch up over uh, fermented alcoholic or fermented adult beverage. <laughs> but uh, what, why am I warming up on my expensive paper? I'm like going crazy today. But yeah, maybe we'll meet up at some point. I, I don't have much travel planned, if anything at all, this year, actually. So, all right. So just like we do, I was going through my old videos. And let's see, what time is it in? Oh, this is a little bit later, but fairly consistently warm up about two minutes and 50 seconds in after the intro. It's kind of cool to see the patterns but also how things change or have changed slight tweak in the studio you probably can't spot it yeah you can't spot it right now but uh maybe i'll adjust the aperture on my camera oh i'm glad you enjoyed it latrice thanks <laughs> i feel i feel bad when i do those because i always don't finish <laughs> So I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it. Admittedly, I was like, man, should have done better on that one. Just all the banter and explaining stuff, you know, always takes takes time. Munich, Rakesh from Munich. I've never been to Munich. I wanted to go. So I, I went to do a workshop at Adidas in Erzo. Can't even say the, the name of the town. Erzo Henarach, something like that. Anyhow, went there. But at the time, I wasn't a U.S. citizen. And so I couldn't really travel around Europe without visas for every single country. In fact, to go to Germany... Because I was still a Jamaican citizen at the time. I actually had to fly to LA for four hours. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is a true story. I flew to LA for about four hours. Went to the embassy. Got my stuff done. Back to the airport. Came home. So that was the fastest trip I've ever taken. In and out, just like that. I mean, I've gone to cities in the morning and left at night, but this was like morning to afternoon back home. Anyhow, I had to do that. Um, wanted to go to Berlin, but didn't have time. So I ended up going to Bamberg, walking around Erzo a little bit. <clears throat> it was a really fun trip. Glad I got to go, but... Wish I could have explored a little bit more. No such luck for me. Thanks, Trey. All right, let's do some ellipses. Hey, Graves. Is it Graves or Graves? Anyhow, like I said, I was in a little bit of a funk. It happens to the best of us. But you make do. I actually used to have a, a business called Make Do. Oh, no, it was up to, not make do. Make do is one of my my sayings. R.I.P. Meatloaf. I don't know if you know who that is. He passed away today. As well as, uh, is it Louis Anderson? I think. Meatloaf was 74, Louis was 68. It's always weird when people you recognize from your childhood, or at least, at the very least, when you're younger, pass away. It's like, whoa, time flies. Also, just, just kind of at that point in life where, you know, I have these thoughts like, man, I wish I had more time in the day. <laughs> and when I was, when I was uh, younger... I kept thinking, man, I wish time would go by faster, you know.
So the weekly sketch challenge, if you want to participate, that's on the Discord. We're kicking it off again. My plan is to stream on uh, Mondays and Fridays. Occasional Sunday. All right, so got to commit to that. Make it happen. Keep it super tight. All right, got some ellipses here. Oh, Brazil loves you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Oh, reminder, if you do like the video, leave a comment. Helps a lot more than a more than a like. YouTube likes it when you you comment, you say something. You leave a chapter marker. If you, leave, if you want to leave a chapter marker, you can just um do like a, uh, the number. So right now, as I'm seeing it, it's like 13 minutes in so you do one three colon and then whatever second is there for me it's 08 and then you can say something cool or hateful or whatever you want to leave totally totally open to whatever you guys want to say so graves graves okay graves it is all right so we're gonna do some birdhouses so like i always do i kind of like to play with shapes and do like thumbnail sketches um in this case maybe maybe even having a couple branches here and there might help with the ideation process i'm thinking of a, a hanging birdhouse in this this instance maybe something cylindrical all right so kind of start with the basic shapes here um maybe we could have one that's like mounted on a branch that would be interesting i'm just going to draw through here so just a reminder the weekly sketch challenge this week is bird houses that's what we're doing So I'm going to do one today just to kick things off. And I'd love to see your ideas as well. All right. So I've got some basic shapes here. And I, <laughs> admittedly, I don't even know what a birdhouse looks like. So I'm going to consult the Book of Knowledge, which if you've watched the stream. Oh, fascinating. Birdhouse skateboards. Um, if you've watched the stream before, I've done this many times where <clears throat> you know just quick google search familiarize yourself say, okay here's what's out there cool 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 we got some simple stuff interesting things um looks like general construction simple hole maybe a place to land and some sort of roof cool all right so with that quick refresher I'm just gonna do something, something uh, standard for now. So, but great, great question, Jordan. Just to keep it simple. Let's just kind of construct my perspective here, just as a frame. So, oftentimes. Again, I try to, oh, mid-century modern birdhouse. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, you could you could do whatever architectural style you wanted to for your birdhouse, for sure. Um, but I, I like to do something simple always when I'm designing because it kind of helps me It helps me get a feel for what the thing is before I commit to doing the fancier stuff. If that makes sense. So just a quick sketch here. Reminder, if you, you're sketching, it's always good to rotate your page a little bit. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go.
Oh, you don't draw superheroes all day. <laughs> yeah, I get requests for those, but I don't do that a lot. I do products and architecture stuff a lot. I used to do more pre-recorded videos, but they just weren't getting much traction. Um, you know, they're great for instruction, but I think my plan is to put that energy into building like an online course or set of courses, resources, things like that. Um, and then if you want to hang out, you can always hang out on the stream. So... That's my thought anyways, my plan. All right, I want to do, let's do this. I'm just setting up a little grid here so I can kind of do a pattern. These are like giant shingles. But I'm just alternating as I go. And this is just regular printer paper, right? So every sketch has a purpose, right? Think about why you're sketching what you're doing. That's gonna help you determine, you know, what quality you want to <clears throat> have your sketch be. So we did branches last time. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we did birds. <laughs> I was like, we did branches last time, too. Um, so, reminder, weekly sketch challenge. So, if you've never heard of that or never done it before, um, Jordan here in the chat has volunteered to kind of help with that a little bit. But I already made a post. The idea is to kind of sketch on a topic. Um, even if you don't want to sketch on a topic, I'll feature your work on, on Fridays. So chance for you to show your work and maybe get some feedback from time to time not always right but a little chance for you to get get some feedback as well as put your stuff out there it's another another great way to get good at what you do is just put your work out there open yourself up to some some feedback all right okay so there's my first birdhouse constructed so kind of see taking <clears throat> taking a, a simple shape and turning it into something all right we'll add some marker to these here and there as well all right so this one maybe just has a, a little cone cone roof or something got a question can you talk about rendering what specifically would you like to know about rendering I'm going to be using markers and pen today, which is what I'm doing right now. So just keeping it simple, keep it chill. You can always overlay these or redo the sketch. I'm going to pick one and we'll, uh, we'll color it up. All right. So yeah, just remember as a creative person, it's important to practice self-care, take some time for yourself. So as it goes, what happened, you know, as I think about, it's like, why am I struggling to kickstart the year? I don't know. It's like really struggling. Um, I didn't really get a Christmas break. I didn't really, but that's my own fault. I uh, I started making some 3D printed creations for friends and um, some people who wanted them this Christmas. And, and that was intense. I was waking up at two in the morning to change stuff on my 3D printer. You know, I've got three Prusas and two Flash Forge printers that I use. Um, 
And, you know, they they don't, like, they, they do stuff on their own once you set it up, but you also have to kind of manage and and monitor monitor them as well. And so maybe we could do something interesting with this one. Maybe it's hmm. Maybe it's got like a a bird feeder below it. So it's like you put bird seed in it, but also it's a birdhouse. Could be something like that. Anyhow, so I didn't really take a break. Um and you kind of need to to take breaks. So I think my my mind and body was just like, nope. <laughs> You're taking a break. Unfortunately, that break kind of came at the beginning of the year. So apologies for the slow start. We're back at it. Maybe this has some like cool. It's almost like a hat, but some cool tiny wood pieces act as a shade. So yeah, sometimes when you're ideating, you can just take simple shapes and use that as a base. You know, use line weight to bring bring things forward as you like. Um. Why did I do that? It's a little bit low. But maybe our maybe our entrance is right here. And this one, let's see. Could do could do some sort of tiered tiered roof thing. I think it was Jordan that mentioned some sort of mid-century or perhaps even modern birdhouse. It's kind of fun because it's like tiny, tiny modern architecture almost, <laughs> which is cool. Okay, let me think about this because I don't want to mess up. Um, okay, yeah, that works. It's a funky perspective because the horizon line's like right there. So sometimes I get a little, a little tripped up. Music brought to you by Paul Sohi and myself. Thanks, Paul. All right, let me check in the chat. I've been ignoring. Would I describe myself as a natural talent or have I worked hard? You know, as I've gotten older, one of my pet peeves... <laughs> Is when people are like, oh, you're so talented, because it, it negates the hard work that goes into developing a skill. But I'm also turning into an old man, so there's that. But that aside, um, my my skill, my talent is not drawing, believe it or not. It's something that's taken me a while to realize and even acknowledge. That's That's really not the thing I'm good at. I'm not like a natural drawing talent or a natural singer or a natural guitar player or a natural anything really i my superpower is learning things i love learning things like give me something tough to figure out and i will figure it out so so no i'm not a natural talent when it comes to drawing um I love it, and I've come to understand it the way that makes sense for me. But it's not like it's not like a super a supernatural. It's not it's not something that comes naturally to me. No. Okay, maybe this is just a perch, and there's a tiny tiny window up here. So this could be, this could be your window, and then this one's your entrance. 
but I think I think in life, if you <laughs> my shadows are crazy. This one's going that way. This one's going this way. So I'm totally just I'm totally breaking all sorts of rules here. Um, if you can move through life with a love for learning, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Um, it's product design in boom. I don't know about that. Um, a lot's changing right now. I will say with, uh, digital goods, NFTs, you've got, um, service design and user experience, user interface. Um, there'll always be a need for physical products of some sort, but there's also going to be more and more overlap between physical and digital products i think so that's gonna be a thing for sure all right i'm just gonna put some light marker on these super light i really need to organize my oh hoo hoo marcus do i pretend to come to brazil to teach <laughs> I mean, if someone paid my airfare and lodging and there was a small fee per day, I would totally do it. Come to Brazil for a week and teach for a week. I've done that in Mexico, Germany, Canada, around the United States as well. Costa Rica, I did that for a week. So yeah, totally possible. <clears throat> All right, this is printer paper, but sometimes a little color can just kind of help reinforce things. If you want to keep your sketch loose to just try and be aware of what you're coloring and so forth, but in terms of your application, to be a little free make a huge difference for you can a dragon live in a birdhouse I suppose if it were big enough I suppose that could be a thing my red is drying out sucks it sucks because ohuhu does not make refills for their markers not yet anyways <clears throat> i know people have said they do but i haven't seen any i have yet to see a refill oh cool yeah if you usually what happens i'll explain the workshop thing usually what happens is um a college or company will reach out and say hey do you teach you know product concept drawing or storyboarding or whatever and then i'll say yeah i do that here's the details on how to do the workshop thing is it johan or johan how do you get inspired? Anyhow, usually they'll approach me and then, you know, there's a discussion about it and eventually figure out logistics, cost, um, <clears throat> cost, date, all of that stuff. Once that's figured out, then we do the workshop. Um, so if it were something international... You know, that would take a little time, some planning, probably in the fall, I'm guessing, would be the time frame there. And once that's finalized, I kind of lead like an all day workshop with the group. Sometimes a few hours, sometimes all day. It just depends on the group and people's availability and whatnot. And then we get it done. So 
I do a lot of those a year. So actually, if you're if you're someone that is interested in doing that, I highly suggest engaging sooner than later. So that I'll be able to schedule you in for that workshop. Yeah, so maybe this is a little bird feeder thing here. We can use the same color for consistency. I'm taking way too long on this, so maybe I won't do it. No, I am going to do a nice birdhouse sketch. I'm going to do one. And then I'll do the totem pole. These can be my warm-ups. How do I get inspired? That's a good question. I mean, truth be told, uh, how the brain works, we um, take in whatever information we have and you may not be conscious and aware of what you're taking in, but we do. So things like movies, right? Um, can sometimes be inspiration subconsciously. So I like watching a lot of movies, just being aware, paying attention to things. Um, if you're talking about, so inspiration and motivation are two different things, right? So if I'm working on a project and I'm looking for some visual cue or a uh, way to uh, differentiate the design, it's like, hey, I want to do a birdhouse, but I want to make it really different. Then I'll look up images and see how elements of the image could be used. I have a couple of videos. I'm pretty sure I do have a couple of videos on that. But as I mentioned, my stuff's hard to find, so. <clears throat> so that's that's how I use inspiration. If you're talking about motivation, man, I wish I could solve that. That'd be nice. If I could just be like, yeah, I'm motivated, but my one of my college professors said something that's stuck with me throughout the years and that is being professional is being creative even when you don't want to be so there are those days where i'm like oh, i'm just not feeling it but you got to get up and go and do the thing or you might be working on a project that you really don't want to work on and you just have to get it done okay as for how to do that, practice. Um, do it a little bit, then do it a lot, and then do it a lot more. And eventually get to a place of consistency for yourself and develop the ability to um, just get up and go. Good question, Jordan. Color theory. No, I, I wouldn't consider myself an expert at color theory. Like, I know some basic things um, about complementary colors and um, warm, cool stuff, uh, you know, value selection, things like that. But I wouldn't consider myself an expert at color theory. So I don't go into it much. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, specifically just be like, hey, why'd you pick that red or why'd you pick whatever it is oh i got a cool cool gift from a friend of mine they made a little little stamp for me so now when i do a sketch oh it's not inked enough <laughs> but it says sketch every damn day let's see here maybe i can maybe i can rescue this there we go boom my new signature how about that little little hand carved stamp <laughs> so that's pretty cool thanks for the stamp my friend lisa um let's see hey mystery what's up we're doing birdhouses this week so i'm gonna do one final birdhouse let's see i like how weird this one is um this one's you know pretty expected yeah, I like how weird this one is. So I think I'm going to go with something cylindrical. I like the weird roof. Maybe I could 
maybe these two could have a baby or something. Effectively. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Sorry, I got to move my Wacom display up a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. And I'll zoom out so you can see a little better. All right. I've also been trying to drink. More water, like a gallon of water a day. So far, so good. It was hard, like I started and I got to 64 ounces. And then I got to 96 ounces. And I finally, it was like two days ago. Or yesterday, I don't remember. I hit... Get a gallon in a day. It's good, except you pee a lot. You pee a lot. All right, let's do our birdhouse. So since this is more of a final sketch, I'm going to start with a little bit of a light gray marker. I just picked these up, by the way. And if you're interested about the things I use, here's a link. This, this link has all sorts of stuff, or I can give you the link to the specific markers I got here. Let's see. Really? I mean, really good price for these markers. They're Ohuhu markers. Um, I'll show you. So it's just this brand of marker on Amazon. You know, there's going to be sponsored links. Just ignore those. Um, but it's these right here. Um, they don't have refills, unfortunately. At least not yet. Some people say they do. But I haven't seen any. So you could get, for example, just make sure it's the right brand. Oh, hoo -hoo. Um, But they had a set... This is driving me crazy. All right, I'm gonna sort by price. Yeah, anyhow, I don't wanna waste your time doing this right now, but they do come in sets. They're pretty affordable, like 30 bucks, 50, even 100 bucks. Oh, they have a shop, okay, cool. <laughs> so they do have a shop and there's like coupons right now. Um, that you can use. So the prices are always reasonable. I mean, considering, you know, a Copic marker set of, this is 168 colors for uh, 124. So they're less than a dollar per marker. Um, Copic markers are going to run you, they'll run you, you know, five bucks per marker sometimes or more, eight dollars. So <clears throat> anyway, I picked up this set of grays. <laughs> this is where I was going with all that. So I'm going to use these to outline my design. You always want to kind of test these markers, though, before you start drawing. I will say the colors, um, <laughs> they don't always match the tip of the the cap. So you just want to be, be a little bit careful. All right, so let's use some gray marker here. I have tried refilling them with Copic ink. The problem is consistency. So you, you want consistency in color and the appearance of what, um, what your design might look like. So This is like a very complicated sketch. I'm trying to fit it all on this paper here. So I want to do the bird feeder thing. So we're going to combine some elements from some of these some of these other concepts. So I liked the roof that had the pieces like so. Yeah. 
And there was also uh, one that had these like supports on them. I kind of like that. Let's do our whole maybe here. So the thing with the gray marker is you can just work really nice and light. And then there was also, okay, so let's see a little bit of the top. And I like the idea that this gets bundled up and maybe hangs from a string. Or do bird feeders do that? I don't know. Maybe it has two sides to it. So yeah, there could be some bird seed just in here. All right, and then just for background and effects, I'm going to have a, a branch come out. I'm, I'm really running out of paper here to draw on, but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit bigger anyways on this paper. So yeah, Felix, the, the issue is consistency of color because you don't want to go in. I'm going to tweak this slightly. You don't want to go in and um, have a different color when you're ready to draw. So it's it's important, especially when you're doing professional work, to have that, that consistency in appearance. Hey, Sticky, what's up? Oh, Sticky Raid. Thanks, man. We're just doing birdhouses. We have a weekly sketch challenge. And the challenge this week birdhouses so that's what we're doing so yeah thanks for joining man hope you're doing all right I'll show you the initial sketches in just a sec here I think I'm going to divide this up because I want more of a division on the lower bit. But if you do if you do refill them, Felix, and you have good luck doing it, let me know. I'd be curious to know. Um, or maybe someone just needs to create create some guide of okay, which which Copic inks um, match the best with which colors. Maybe it's not even just Copic inks, but it could be. Um, could be some other ink brand that just works really well. Gradually switching to Copic. Stop buying new markers and pens. Yeah. I use Copic because they're refillable, but um, they're also expensive, so I don't use them as often on the stream. You know? Especially if, I, especially if I'm just drawing, you know, random stuff. 
or whatever. But if I'm doing like some sort of commission for someone, I would I'd want to make sure that I can have reliable and consistent colors. It's a great question, Ed. Thanks for joining. How do you make, how do you get over the idea that you make other people rich with your ideas? Well, for me, um, you know, the older I've gotten as a designer, the, the less enamored I am with the commercial success of what I do, if that makes sense. So it's like, I'm not really in a space where I'm doing a ton of that, but I will say that I, I t I'm, maybe I'm weird. I just, I tend to not do things in life, quote unquote, just for the money. So if they, if they're commercially successful, cool, I did it for the love. Um, but there are some things you can do when you, when you do structure your project with someone, there's some things you can do. Um, whether that's, uh, you know, working out some sort of royalty deal. I think the NFT thing as art does not really appeal to me. However, I will say there's there's something to be said about the idea of a smart contract in that, you know, as long as you can verify ownership, perhaps there's some upside to doing work for people. So I, I imagine a future in which I'm going to bungle this. I just know I am. Um, I imagine a future in which you, you design something and because you can verify ownership of that thing, you do get some return right that's that's tied to and intrinsic to the fact that you did that design so as far as structuring royalties is one way to do it you can um, agree to agree to have a deal that is uh tied to equity in whatever they're doing so you know if you're if you're working with a startup or smaller company that's a bit more common than having that happen with a larger company but it is something you can do if you're worried about money and you know the fact that someone else is, is making money off your idea or better yet come up with your own ideas start your own company do your own thing this is starting to look like a pokemon um do your own thing you know that's that's certainly one way one way to do it So that would be that would be my advice. Um, but I found that in life, when I do things out of love, I'm much much happier than. This is just personal. This is not critique or clapback or anything like that. Just to be clear, um, I'm much happier when that's the case than when I'm preoccupied about the financials of a situation. So. That's just me. Okay, so maybe maybe there is no 
hanging element here because it wouldn't need to hang from anything. This could be like some sort of detail on the top. I don't know. Oh, it's all good, Sticky. No worries. Different audience. I do I do a lot of product stuff, too. So I totally get it. <clears throat> Starting to get hot in my studio. Introvert Doodles likes watching squirrels more than birds. Little rascals. They make the most annoying sounds, though, when they're like courting each other and trying to mate seasonally here. How are we in time? 53. Cool, cool. All right, let's do some colors. So I'm going to do red and yellow because I'm, I'm kind of liking that. Red, yellow, and maybe some wood. Wood stuff. Although red and yellow is going to make it like look like Pokemon. Pokemans. Um, okay. I love color. All right, just shade this up. So since this is kind of like a, a textured, segmented roof, I'm just going to keep the app, the color application fairly loose to kind of reinforce the line work. That's the idea. Keep these edges nice and dark. I may darken up over here and in here a little bit. Just kind of shade along these divisions. Leave some white, some white here and there. All right, particularly as we approach light source. Highlight. And then back to a little bit darker there. That's going to help with things feeling more round. Like so. Pretty simple. And that's just with one marker. So this is yellow 9. Let's see... Let's see what else. What else my Ohuhu markers have to offer here? All right, so this is brown two. So I'm going to use this for some of my shadow shadow work. That's a very popular term these days. <clears throat> Just to help with popping some some of these details. Okay, maybe I won't get to the totem pole again. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Because I promised Lori. I don't know if she's watching, though. All right. And I want these to be red for some reason. And... What did you draw on your stream today, Sticky? I guess a blue would look good on this, like a, a pale blue would look good. We'll do blue and then something else down here. I'll figure it out. So sketch a day live. Thanks again for joining. Just doing some birdhouses. That's our weekly sketch challenge this week as well. So if you're looking to 
do something interesting. I could sketch along, do that topic. I'll feature your work um, next week. Oh, you played Rocket League Sideswipe. Man, I wish I had time to play games. I was saying earlier on the stream how the older I get, the more I'm like, man, I wish I had I wish I had more time. And how funny it is because as a kid, you're like, I wish the time would go by faster, you know. But now every day I'm like, ah, oh, I wish the day were twice as long. All right, let's build a shadow core here. So a shadow core is gonna help this birdhouse feel a bit more round. I'll kind of build that up as we go. With markers, as always, you want to start with lightest lights. Work your way to your darkest darks or light till you get it right. Okay, so kind of building a little highlight here in this area. All right, a little variation toward the front, a little lighter. What's this? This is PB9. PB9. This might be too, too dark, so let's see if I have another one. PB9. Hey, Apple Jacks. What's up? <laughs> You're at work. Well, appreciate you joining. So yeah, that is one of the downsides to these Ohuhu markers is sometimes you have to like it's not it's not as precise or exact as the Copic color system where you do have um a number system that's actually consistent. I've actually got to come in here now and check to see. Okay, that's BG8, which is a little bit more green, but that's okay. Here's PB11. So I'm going to try PB11, hopefully not regret this. Right in my shadow core. Right here. In my shadow. Cuz you need that you need that contrast. But like I said, one of the nice things about these Ohuhu markers is they do blend well. Um, they are pretty good, so don't sleep on them. They're quietly good. And no, they don't sponsor me or anything. Although I wish, that'd be cool. <clears throat> I guess I could do a bird on the inside, but I don't want to. I don't want to. Hey, Rasham. What's up? I can't believe you've been watching the whole time. Now I'm, now I'm like, nervous. Got, like, a superstar international designer watching the stream, so I got to... I gotta be on my best, best behavior. Have you been streaming on YouTube yet, Roshan? I haven't, uh, I haven't been paying attention, so I know you were, you were thinking about it. So Behance also has streams. Um, I'm gonna start streaming there, I think. Just been talking to the Adobe team about a few things, but I'm hoping, hoping to kick that off. I 
<laughs> I should have more sponsorships. Yeah, you can complain. I don't have like like some of the companies don't really ever do sponsorships, so like um <clears throat> this is why you stay silent. <laughs> I have to hype you, man. You're like you're like a rock star. Especially with the, the CAD stuff, 3D modeling, so if Alright, I won't I won't plug you. I won't give you a plug. But Roshan, everyone. He's a, he's pretty good. He's just being humble humble today. Just being humble. All right, there it is without the glare, so you can kind of see. It's a little bit floppy, but strike two and a half. <laughs> okay, I won't say anything. Jeez, Jesus. Hello, I'm good. It's that M M engine. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Well, I'm better than I have been. How about that? Better than I have been. Like I said, slow start to the year. But here we are. Here we are doing the thing on sketch day. Okay. Yeah, these these reds just aren't the greatest in terms of getting the right blends and and all of that. So they're just not. But a lot of the other colors are, we'll see. I just need a little bit more oomph. A little bit more oomph. Because, like, under here now, I need a shadow, right? I guess I don't have to stick to the Ohuhu brand. I could use something else. But I want, like, a shadow under here. So I'm going to have to hit that a couple times <clears throat> to get it right. All right, what does bird seed look like? I don't even know. Let's see. I was just going to do some brown stuff. So whenever you want to give your birds a, a little treat, you could put some bird seed in there. Okay, it's basically brown. Um, got some little, little spots in there. So again, you know, Google's your friend. You can always... Uh, Take a look at, at some different stuff, right? So there's some bird seed, there it is, right? So I'm just gonna do some brown, uh, different browns and um, create the texture that way. Could even dip into the warm grays too. Oh, let's see. <laughs> effortlessly placing shadows. I wouldn't say effortlessly. So this is what I was talking about, where the reds are a little bit close together. So I have two options. Find a darker red or which I happen to have in another set. Bianio or I always do this. Bianio Bianio. I don't know how do you say that. But I do have a red in that set that works 
pretty well. Hey, Roshan, have you gotten your 3D printer yet? Or are you still waiting on the Mark IV? That may never be released. I also don't like to spend a ton of time on sketches. I've mentioned that before, so this even feels Ill indulgent to me. <laughs> but I am having fun. It's going to be interesting because it's going to be like brown on brown. So maybe I'll start with my lightest. And I think I am going to use the warm grays. <laughs> uh, Roshan. So, just a reminder: if you if you like the stream or you hate the stream, just leave a comment on the video. Anything kind of helps. YouTube loves engagement. So I appreciate you chatting and saying stuff, but if you got a piece out, just leave a comment or after the show. Totally helps. I've noticed. All right, so there's also the shadow of the, you know, birdhouse that's going to be on the seed, so I'll have to take that into account in terms of the density of what I'm doing here. We'll figure it out though. So right on this like kind of imaginary line here. <laughs> oh, Roshan. See, you, you get to give me you get to give me a hard time, but I can't give you a hard time, uh. <laughs> Coming up in here causing trouble. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, I'm going to do, let's see, today's Friday. So yeah, challenge this week, reminder, birdhouses, that's what we're doing. That's why I'm doing all this. Um, I'll probably stream Sunday. But I also have to do a totem pole. That was a, a request one of our fans oh that's why i'm burning up i have my heater in my studio here set to high so that my 3d printing filament will stay nice and dry nice and crispy so i need to go close that Yeah, Applejacks, bring back the challenges. Um, at the beginning of the stream, I was just explaining. Um, I kind of just, I, I, I just have not been myself for the last few weeks, so. But I'm feeling more like it now. 
and yeah, I want to bring back the challenges. I'm updating all the videos, thumbnails, uh, which is a lot of work, as it turns out. It's better to just get it done right after the stream. <laughs> Rather than, you know, months later trying to update stuff. So, But in any case, I'm updating it all. And uh, hopefully that'll help with discovery for you folks who want to find stuff after the fact. Use that same warm gray here on the birdhouse opening. You really got to make sure you get your contrast in just because contrast is how your eye kind of identifies um, changes in surfaces, direction, and so forth as you're as you're sketching, so. And frankly, in real life, that's just kind of how, how your brain is, right? Okay, I don't want to shade in the tree, but it's there as a background element. So there's our birdhouse. Um, took a few elements from our thumbnail sketches here kind of combine these two designs, made some tweaks, and there's my birdhouse, all right? And I'm gonna use the stamp that I got from my awesome friend, Lisa. Gotta stamp our work, right? It's kind of fun. Sketch every damn day. Let's do it. Anyhow, kind of fun. <laughs> and I'll sign it. And of course, I will upload this after the stream. Yeah, I was explaining. I didn't really, I didn't really take a Christmas break. Um, I kind of went into Christmas and then went into hyperdrive. Not even overdrive. Went into hyperdrive with uh, some three D printing stuff I was doing. Didn't take a break. So my body, I think, and my brain were just like, "Nope, you're taking a break." <laughs> Oh, Roshan. Okay, let's do a totem to totem pole of some sort. So again, we must consult the Book of Knowledge. Consult the Book of Knowledge, aka Google. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what these are. So, um, of course, I want to be respectful to culture, so I'm not going to presume to know. I probably should do some research as well, but I'm going to do something uh, somewhat simplified here and just take a look at the shapes and details and see if I can create something similar. Very colorful, though. Very, very colorful. So maybe I won't color the whole thing, maybe just one section or something since we're somewhat tight on time. But again, kind of promised this to Lori. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, 21 days in a row. Nice work. I hope to see you say 365 in a row. Eventually.
Thanks, Roshan. Yeah, a friend of mine made it. Um, all right, so you can see I'm kind of setting up a progression of ellipses here is the idea and how to sketch one of these and I'm gonna do some different sizes. This one's right about at horizon line that I'm setting up. Okay, and maybe we have, I don't know if they're all aligned on the center, let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're aligned. So I have a center line here, this one's a little bit wider. Okay. And so this would be like the ellipse is tipping up like so, All right? So in terms of perspective, this is kind of what I'm working with, right? So these two ellipses technically should be about the same degree. It's just that we have a horizon line here and one down here. That's why I changed the ellipse because I was like, that needs to be a little bit smaller. So no gray sketch here at all. No gray sketch here at all, but just trying to kind of sketch something that looks like a, a totem. Um, the eyes have a specific style, so I kind of want to see one a little closer. I'm just looking at my my uh, inspiration pages here. See if there's... Anything I can, can draw from. But I'm doing it because I, I promised it to Lori for some time now. This is my first ever So it's not like something I draw all the time. So um like I've said before, you know, it takes it takes a little bit to warm up, figure things out. Um and decide what you're going to do. All right, I was going to do wings on this one, but I think I'm going to do them um, like so. So effectively what I'm what I'm doing here is this the right this is so hard. Okay, that should be higher. So there's a, a box, a perspective box like that. So if I imagine that box, then it makes it a little easier for me to figure out placement and to get the right scale in place. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to cheat. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell your friends. Very complex, though, I will say. People always request the complex stuff. And I'm like, no, let's keep it simple.
So once I get the line work done here, this should be, I think, a little bit easier. So now I'm kind of riffing because I have a general sense of what they kind of look like. So doing something here with maybe some ears of some sort. Could be a bear. then we'll do one something on the bottom i don't know what to do on the bottom i'm sure i'm sure this has very significant cultural uh, significance and i am probably butchering everything right now so my apologies um if i am But I'm not intending in any way to do anything that um, has any symbolism. Merely appreciating it for what it is. Alright, just want to make that clear. So, I don't want to get cancelled over doing a totem pole. All right, I'm going to check into the chat in just a sec. This is Sketch Data Live. Thanks for joining. Hanging out. <clears throat> watching the paper while sketching, while watching reference while watching the chat. <laughs> yes, I need I need like one more screen if I were trying to do it. So, like, so I could have the, you know, the reference stuff up as well. Again, my problem is I don't like doing sketches that take forever, generally speaking. So. I should have done one part of the totem pole. It's what I should have committed to. So I'm like starving right now, too. All right, so an overlay would probably help this sketch, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, wait. I forgot. This is my separation here, and this is my separation here. And then we go flat.
So I'll add marker on, we'll treat it like a vignette and I'll do marker on one section or something like that for the sake of time. So I got other things I have to do. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, just looking at some motifs here. There's a lot of a lot of uh, pattern. Again, I'm sure it has significance. I'm not a part of this culture, so I do this out of. I'm not going to assume anything out of respect, I should say. Type of thing you'd want to, you know, sit, do a couple times. Refine, refine, refine until you get to a point where it's all good. I was saying on my Adobe stream this week, I was uh, with a guy named Delta Tango Mike is what he goes by. Um, but we were talking about artists and how, um, you know, some of your favorite artists or people you might follow you think oh they're so good they like that drawing is just so impeccable but what you don't realize is the work that goes into like planning out that drawing and figuring it out and so there's almost this at least for me for a long time there was this perception that those drawings just came out perfect right but it doesn't work that way at all <laughs> Like even even the like super talented comic book artists that I know, they start. I mean, it's a, it's a very loose sketch. They start with a very loose, rough sketch, and then they figure things out as they go. Right. So basically don't be like me <laughs> when when I was a when I was a student. I was like, man, I have to get this perfect the first time. You don't. It takes revision, it takes practice, it takes a lot of effort. So I was trying to decide which way. Which way to do the shadow? I was like, oh, it'd be cool if it went off to the side, but then if it's going off to the side, then my light would be on this um, side of the drawing, which isn't the front of the object, which is kind of weird. Like really weird. All right, something like that. I 
And yeah, I'm like starving, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to wrap up here. But if you're doing, if you're following along, if you're doing something like this, you know, this is a good place to kind of finalize, um, you know, maybe it's the breakups in your design, whatever, and then plan on creating an overlay, which basically just means taking a thin sheet of paper or um, having a good light source behind your paper, putting a new sheet on top, and Putting a new sheet on top and then finishing finishing that out, right? Just a little background line. So even with your background, sometimes just something as simple as, you know, a tree line. You could even make it layered. Trees in front, trees in back. Um can help give context to your drawing. Kind of just squiggles. Nothing nothing too serious. Nothing too serious going on here. All right. Woo. So some sort of totem pole. How long have I been going? I'm guessing an hour and, yep, hour and a half. Oh, hey, Lori. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of color. I am exhausted. I'm so exhausted. So exhausted. Um, the hard part about this, Lori, I was, I was explaining a little bit earlier. I don't know if, how long you've been watching, but the hard part about it is I don't understand the cultural significance on a personal level. So I don't want to be um, disrespectful by using a certain color that would never be used or, you know, things like that. So I am I'm being very hesitant and cautious in doing this. Very hesitant. Maybe some orange here, though. And I'll get this little nose bit. So yeah, it would certainly look better colored up, but you know, Time and all. Good old time, just like I was talking about at the beginning of the stream. Sometimes I wish, wish I had more time. In general, in life, I mean. So yeah, the rest of these, maybe I'll just kind of hit with some gray. Just for the contouring. 
But this can be one way to call attention to a certain part of whatever you're doing anyways. But I just... I gotta eat. <laughs> My body is not happy at me right now. Okay, maybe just the beak. But yeah, thanks for the recommendation. Super fun. Um, thanks for hanging out. Happy Friday to everyone. Remember, the challenge this week is to do a birdhouse. So this was the birdhouse we did on the show today. Started with some ideas and concepts here, of course, warm-ups and all that good stuff. I guess I should I should stamp again. My handy dandy stamp. Boom. Sketch every damn day. Let's do it. <laughs> Anyhow, super fun hanging out. Did the birdhouses. The one birdhouse here. I guess I could clean it up a little bit. I'm never going to actually have lunch. Because I keep seeing things. Oh, if you just do this, if you just do that. Probably one of the hardest parts about sketching, I think, is like knowing when to be done. And I like want to keep going. Oh, well. All right. So, birdhouse, final. Did the little birdhouses. I will be uploading the sketches, yes. Um, come on. And then also did quick totem here. So I'll upload all of these. Thanks again. I'm going to check in with you. Let's see. Today is Friday. So all of next week, do some birdhouses. If you want to have them featured, they'll be featured on Friday. Normally, I'll announce on Monday when I do my Monday or Sunday or Monday stream. Okay, Sunday slash Monday. Um, I'll do the announcement of what we're going to do. And Jordan's volunteered to kind of keep tabs on that and be aware. So... We'll review sketches on Fan Friday, which is today. All right, reminder, leave a comment if uh, if you want to help out, um, help the video kind of spread, share it around, all that good stuff. But more importantly, get sketching, do something. Um, draw anything today. Be like Apple Jacks, do a drawing a day. And, you know, if... If you learn something, take a minute to break it down, explain it to someone because it's going to help you um, understand what you're doing, package it, and communicate it. And in that process, you actually learn how to be better and you understand your process in a way that will help you um, be able to execute at a higher level. All right. I'm telling you, teaching was a game, game changer for me when I started sharing what I know. All right. With that, remember, passion is the process. Much love to you all. Take care. And I'll be back maybe Sunday, just because, you know, I like doing the sci-fi thing. But for sure, Monday, I'll be back and next Friday. All right. Take care. Peace out. And I'll see you next time right here on Sketch-A-Day.